Ah, what's your cat, lad? All right, Corby. Where's the keyboard today? It's been snatched. Who by? Dog traffickers. What do they want him for? Who knows what foul levels of bestiality these criminals stoop to. They will eat the corrupt flesh of the dead. Well, they're going to get a bit of a shock when their discoveries are recycloid. Not half. He must have been out there hanging with the real dogs and just got caught up in the net. Ah, they does that to birds as well. Thing is, Keyboard has always lived in the atmosphere of my companionship and affection. It'll be a shock for him to be deprived of that. Ah, bound to be. Find himself in the hands of rapacious rapscallions. Yeah, them humans can get proper ugly. I mean, birds will peck another bird to death very occasionally, but we'd never desecrate the corpse. Well, not often, indeed. Of course, it just ain't dogs what is trafficked. There's a major trade in humans, too. Earns more money than illegal drugs. How can a drug be illegal? They can't even talk. You say that. I did have a conversation with an aspirin once. Well, I'm sure that was very elucidating. Hardly. It gave me an headache. But as for these snatch bandits, they are the scourge of their species, preying on their own young. Well, foul business. Them's worse than cuckoos. Yeah. Still, at least a cuckoo brings its iconic call to the world every spring. Tell that to the dunnocks and the meadow pippets. Hello, Ketled. How's it going, Corby? Well, what's your keyboard? Kjern, where have you been? I just popped out. I thought you'd been trafficked. What, turned into a car? Turned into a cul-de-sac, more like. Ooh. Anyway... We're glad to have you back. Where else would I go? It's where I live, isn't it? Of course it is, and long may it be so.